you know, our clear reminder that, you know, this is not just a local problem. This is, this is a, uh, you know, a, a province wide, a continent wide problem. Uh, and, you know, it's a cause for concern. Um, and an increasing proportion of our air pollution is probably going to come from this source. For the second time this month, Environment Canada has issued another air quality statement because of the wildfires in northwestern Ontario. We were in the clear after a cold front pushed some of that smoky air away from the GTHA last week. But as the wildfires continue to rage on, more hazy conditions have returned. Experts are worried now about long-term effects this could have on residents will raise the the uh, prevalence of of common conditions such as uh, asthma such as um, cardiovascular disease such as type 2 diabetes those are all chronic common chronic diseases that have been related over years of research to to sort of our typical smog um, but um, there's much similarity between you know forest fire smoke smog and typical smog city news also spoke with dr samantha green who is the faculty lead in climate change and health in the department of family and community medicine at the university of toronto who says that climate change plays a factor in the wildfires and the air pollution. What we're seeing are the impacts of the climate crisis right here, right now. Um, and this is all happening at just 1.1 degree of warming. And we just know that all of the things that are happening right now are going to get worse. Dr. Green also says that this issue disproportionately affects marginalized people. What we've seen with the COVID-19 pandemic uh, and what we're seeing right now with the wildfires in northwestern Ontario is that those who are already marginalized are most at risk of, of adverse outcomes. So people living in poverty, Indigenous people, racialized people, people experiencing homelessness, people who work outdoors, those people are most at risk of the adverse health impacts of the climate crisis. The wildfires right now are most impacting remote communities in northwestern Ontario. More than 3,000 people have been evacuated from the affected First Nation communities, and according to experts, those numbers may continue to increase. Officials also say that at last check, there are nearly 138 fires burning right now in northwestern Ontario. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.